Hello. Sorry. Hello for this new exercise du jour. Uh, today I'd like to actually share a harmonic uh, concept with you. So it's not going to be a, an etude or, a, or something very guitar related actually. It's something that um, everybody can use. Uh, and I'm going to uh, demonstrate it within the 251 in C major 7. Okay, and this substitution um, happens on the fifth degree of that harmonic sequence where we usually at least in jazz, like to um, put tension within the chord before it resolves uh, to the one. So we have all kinds of devices, you know, to do that. We have the diminished scale, the the altered scale, uh, the, and, and all kinds of stuff. There's one thing that is uh, less spoken about that I that I like that I enjoy doing is uh, replacing the the dominant chord by a major seven sharp five chord that resolves. And I think it works very well for two reasons because you know the bass line obviously has that very strong melodic movement that five to one relationship that we already know about but also you have that in, if we're in C major you have that B triad that is dying to just resolve a half step up to uh, the key center we're uh, dealing with so also very naturally you know voice lead that sharp five into the ninth of the chord so obviously it works harmonically so you know I recommend that you practice this you know with uh, with your drop twos and, and with your drop threes but also melodically it's something that works really well So uh, a little, and also lastly, before I finish, sorry, um, it's a very, very, very uh, cool chord to use whenever you're trying to harmonize the third of the dominant chord, which is for me is always kind of like a, a, a touchy moment, a, t a difficult note to harmonize at night because you try to avoid to have that tritone on top of the voicing here in between the third and the seventh. So this gives you kind of like a smoother chord to lead into the one. And I'm, I'm still in C major here. I'm playing the drop to G major 7 sharp 5 in its root position, resolving to C major. And also the last thing you can do is also do a harmonic uh, delay by leaving that B triad um, sustain over the C before it resolves to C6 or C major 7. So that was it for today. Just a, a little harmonic concept that I, I hope you'll enjoy practicing on your instrument. And uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.